Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I was just kind of playing around at night and doing some things. And this is a pretty neat little thing. I don't know that it ever come up in your drawing, but if you have a whole pages of, I've got circles or ellipses, squares, polygons, triangles, rectangles. If we go to Windows and Dockers and open up the Object Manager, in later versions, it's just called objects, and you can see all your items. But right up here, you can search, and if we just start typing ellipses, it'll come up with all the ellipses. I'm going to click on that ellipse, holding down the shift key, and go to the bottom of the list. And I've selected all the ellipses. I can make all the ellipses red. Or you could delete them. So you could pick things that you want to, you know, pick out. Uh, let's do it one more time. Let's go to Windows, Dockers, Objects, and then let's type Polygon up here. Just start typing. Click on the first one, hold down the shift key, pick on the second one, and we'll make all the polygons. And these are actually triangles, but they're three-sided polygons make them blue. There's really a, really a quick way to do that. If you were having to color things in, and I mean, you could do each one in a you know different color. Let's just leave that like that. Dockers, objects, type in um, the ellipses again. Hold down that. Go and go to the bottom, hold down the shift key and select that. It'll select them all and let's make them red. The only thing left is the rectangle. And I must have missed one ellipse right there. Wow. I just didn't hit it. So we'll make it red. But let's just typing um, rectangle. Do the same thing. It even gives you the shape of the rectangle. That's an elongated one. Hold down the shift key, and we'll make all those green. Pretty cool. Hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.